All right, I can finally get to your shots. Again, I apologize for the delay. I'll uh, I'll let you know in the email what happens. Uh, let me take a look at this one. So that's the church planning. It's neat. Um, so for you. Uh, I'm not sure which one to start which. I'm not sure about the length and pacing of the church shot. Yeah, I, I was going to say... Like, this is... Given that it's stepped, like, from here to here, it's going to take a lot longer. A lot longer. We're also a bit too high up in frame. And this seems like a crazy, crazy wide lens as well. Um, and again, this is going to take a long time to get there. It feels like you can... It's like almost you can take another bench set back there. It comes in, has a couple of hesitations, and then kind of goes to the last one, right? He's already kind of not sure if he's supposed to be there. So if, to me, it's okay, and it saves you time too. To he would sit in the back to not be all exposed, and you know, imagine there would be other people sitting there. So it saves you time. You can go straight to this, so you can cut out this. And go straight to that but you know that would be like the entrance was right there and then he just goes straight to that first bench so imagine this is the first bench the door is right there you know if that, if that makes sense saves you a lot of time and then that way you can focus on this and extend this shot a bit or you know where he doesn't know what to do and you might look around a bit and really really focus like you you sell his hesitation and maybe nervousness or guilt and all that in his walk already, how he enters, looks around, and decides to sit back there, and then we can really see it in his face, um, what's going on, maybe you can play up some tattoos or something. But I think that, it would be kind of cool, I mean, I don't mind that. Uh, and you're talking about performance in this one. I love how big this is. <sighs> Those are so cute, so cute. My concern here is that this goes, A, you get too fast. I think you could play up this thing a bit where the ball comes in. Like, we're not, we're not quite sure what this ball is. You know, it's almost like you want to hide the kid. I'm not sure how you would do that because we see him right away. But my initial response to this was, wouldn't it be really cute if we see this kind of wiggle around, wiggle around? And it's almost like, whoa, boom. Like, timing-wise, just a bit different where we don't know what's going on. Oh, it's the kid. And, bam, puts the thing down. Gets up, that's cute. I mean, you need some more time here to get, obviously, from there to there. Go up there. That makes this look like it's paper. So you have to really work on the struggle from here to here. He might just pull it. And it might kind of dip down a bit and roll over that edge to get there. And then, you know, maybe he snuggles closer. It's almost as, as if it's his pet. Like, oh, yes, I got all my stuff here. And then you can really play into digging into that bowl, which almost makes it tip a bit. And, um, you know, and it can almost be like he gets up there and he has maybe his shoulders are a bit higher. And then, I mean, you know, it'd be cool if you had some lights that flicker so we, can, we know he's watching TV. I mean, I know he's watching TV, but, you know, there could be a remote somewhere here or something and some light flickering so we can tell he's looking at a screen, if that's your case there. Um, and then as he eats and eats, his shoulders droop, um, droop down a bit more and he relaxes himself a bit more and is really like, oh, this is cool. So otherwise here, once you get to here, it's just a repeat, right? You're just doing the same thing over and over and over. So you want some progression where he gets in there, he's settled, close enough, maybe a bit tense, like, oh, I'm ready, ready. And the more he eats and the more he watches this thing, the more he relaxes. Um, you know, his feet can kind of come out a bit more Everything just kind of uh, relaxes and he stuffs himself in there. Maybe he puts his hand on his belly or something. And then maybe at the very end, you know, like you could have a bit of a look back. Cheeks are full, a little bit of a laugh. He spits a bit some of the popcorn out because something happened that you just watch and make, makes him giggle or makes him laugh. You know, some punchline at the very end that finishes it on a cute little acting moment. Yeah, I think that would be it um i know they're both cool the different emotions right there's different different type of things you're going to show off so it's kind of up to you which one you want to do um i'm fine with both um yeah i know let me know thank you 
All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.